In April, I was approached by a group of journalism students from HKU and they asked me to participate in filming a video about an aquaponics farm in Hong Kong. I will link an article about this farm in the description below and you know, seeing such place with my own eyes, it was so interesting, it looked very futuristic. It's nice to know that such places exist in Hong Kong. Alice and I went to this crepes place in Cosway Bay and the thing is, in Hong Kong there are so many restaurants and shops either hidden upstairs or downstairs in buildings that you wouldn't even think to check out in the first place. And also, their logo looked very familiar. And then I remembered I had a necklace like this. And I didn't even know, but it turns out it was some Celtic symbol. Just received my April beauty box. And I honestly miss the old packaging. Although this one is more environmentally friendly, but looks a little bit messy. They need to think about that. We've got here some marshmallow bar, which called mellow and marsh which they kind of just remixed the word marshmallow then we have here some face mask with the greek yogurt wow then we have this paradox hair mask then we've got something from the brand called pie which i've heard about it but never tried anything this is exciting although it's itty bitty very tiny then we have a nail polish with a very nice everyday color bear with me it says then we've got a lip liner hi hello it's me and the last thing we have is a scrub and that is all you guys right now i received another amazing package today i feel like i am an imposter <laughs> This is not real, but I got reached out by a brand of jewelry and they sent me a package. My goodness me, what is going on? Point 0.5 grams of sugar. This has 13.6. What? 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 <gasps> My goodness me. <sighs> and we are bound to add some soju into the mixture and this one i've never tried the strawberry one it smells like a real strawberry it doesn't smell like chemical also how cute is the packaging look at that little frog how adorable he's a cutie patootie my goodness me that smells amazing you got my god cheers i guess i'll ask trust okay. let's start this beautiful day with some deep puffing action and it says everything is better in pink. Adorable. And it has like a shine to it. Oh, I love it. I am now the owner of this lovely device. We're gonna do some cooking. So exciting. Look at that. Look at me. Look at that. Look at me. Are you ready for the most satisfying moment? Right here. Ta-da. Just randomly wanted to share with you a fantastic, fabulous mask that I'm doing today. Ta-da! Look at that. Look at that. Mmm! Yes. Thank you. Thank you for your attention, everybody. Bye-bye. I'm not even exaggerating, but I've been sick the whole May. And I feel like I'm still not 100% better. I even managed to get tested positive for COVID at the end of May. That was funny. That's why May was not very eventful. 
I was staying at home most of the time, trying to rest and feel better. And since I was staying at home a lot in May, I decided to treat myself to a little at-home spa moment. I also went to play pool in Hong Kong for the first time. The last time I played I think was 15 years ago, so obviously I'm not great at it, but it was a fun activity. We stopped by this local restaurant in TSD to try their spicy chicken pot. An important part of the experience in local joints is that you need to wash your dishes first. The place looked very cute with lots of personal touches like cat figurines and such. Then you need to mix your sauce, you can choose different toppings and then they bring you the pot with the chicken. And after you are done with the chicken, they pour the water into your pot and you start cooking the other ingredients you ordered, like a normal hot pot. And a couple of weeks ago, we tried to go back to that restaurant. Unfortunately, it was closed and I don't know if it's renovating or it closed down completely because on Google there was no information about it. It still says that it's open, which clearly it isn't. So unfortunately, if you want to go check out that place, right now I don't think you can do that. But damn, that chicken pot was delicious. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!